In this video we're going to have a look at dictionary keys and we're going to have a look at what types can be stored in a dictionary key. Python, like other programming languages, is able to generate hash codes. And here you can see I've got part of a schematic diagram and in the center it says hash code generator. Now what this will do, it'll generate hash codes for a data structure, an abstract data structure, for example, an object. And what we have with this bit of program code here is the ability to pass into it an object and out of the hash code generator we will get a hash code. Now this hash code can be used to represent that object in code and it's a quick way of gaining access to the object and all of the data fields that particular object would have. So the hash code is a mechanism to allow for fast access to things in code. Now I'm not going to say any more on this. I'm going to leave hash codes and how they actually work to much later in this particular playlist. But I wanted to introduce it at the beginning of this video to give a feel for what hash codes are because we'll see that's important when we have a look at dictionaries. Because a dictionary allows fast access to the elements within that dictionary. The last three videos in the playlist covered mutable and immutable data types. I think it's important if you're not sure what this means, that is mutable and immutable, you should watch the last three videos before continuing with this video. A dictionary consists of items, key value pairs, and this diagram here kind of represents the relationship of these key value pairs. These three here in this column represent the keys, and these represent the values. This is a key value pair, this is a key value pair, and you can see that this is a string and this is a string. So for this dictionary, the keys and the values are both strings. Now when we consider a key, a key has to be an immutable type. That means it can be a string, which it is in this case, or it can be a number, such as an integer or a float. When we consider a key, however, a key cannot be a mutable type, e.g. a list. A value can be any Python object, i.e. any type. And what I mean by this, this column here, which at the moment is showing us London, Paris and Berlin all as strings. They are example of string objects or string type. And in this position, i.e. the values, they can be any Python type, any Python object. They can be a list, for example. But we cannot have a list in any of these positions where these positions represent the keys of the dictionary because a list is mutable. So let's consider this example here. We've got these being the keys and these being the values. And if we wanted to represent this in Python, we can do so with this program here. Here you can see I've got a key value pair and UK is the key, which in this case is a string. And London is the value, which in this case is also a string. And over here we can see we have another key value pair where the key is France and the value is Paris. And over here we can see we have another key value pair. Now this line is simply going to print capitals, where capitals is the name of the dictionary and when we look at the runtime we get this it simply outputs the three key value pairs as you can see here here and here so there is no problem with this particular definition this assignment of a dictionary the keys are strings and the values are strings so we can see that the key being a string is fine because a string is immutable Let's now consider this particular example here. You can see we have three key value pairs here, here and here. This one is a string. This one here is 65.14, is a number type and in fact it's a float. And the 65.14 represents the millions of people that form the population of the UK. This key value pair, where here we can see the key is France and it's a string. And this is the float and it is 66.81 million. And down here we have the key value pair for Germany. But importantly, what we can see here is we have have all of these being a string and a key can be a string because it is immutable. If we have a look at how this is done in Python you can see here I've called the 
dictionary populations and it's been assigned this and here you can see we have one two three key value pairs and if you look at the keys you can see they're all examples of strings and that's fine because a string is immutable so when I come onto this particular line and print populations you can see it prints with no trouble there's one key value pair here's another and here's another and if we look at the key values we can see their strings which is fine as I repeat the string is immutable let's now consider this rather contrived example here you can see that I've got a string which is the first prime set and over here you can see I've got a list which is listing 2, 3 and 5 which are the first 3 prime numbers and the list is in this position which is fine because remember in the value position we can have any type we can have any Python object this is fine this string because it is immutable likewise this is fine because it is immutable it's saying second prime set and if we have a look over here you can see that I have a list which contains 7, 11 and 13 which are the next prime numbers and this list is of type list which means it's a list object and that's fine because a value can be a list now a list we should know from the previous videos is mutable it can be changed but there isn't any problem having things here that are mutable ie the values can be mutable the value part of the key value pairs can be mutable here however you can see we've got a string which is immutable we couldn't in this position for example have a mutable type but if I now was to take this diagram here and convert it to a piece of Python code this is what we get and you can see this is the key value pair this is the string first prime set and here we have the list this is the second prime set and here we have the list and then we can print the primes and if we do so we can see this first prime set is the key and here we have two three and five which is the list and it is mutable but that's fine we can have a mutable value so here's the first key value pair and here is the second key value pair let's now consider this example here and we can see we have a key value pair here and here we have a look at this position we can see that we're saying the key is a list and we're saying the value is a string now if I show this in Python it looks like this here you can see I've got the key value pair whereas in this position I've got a list and in this position it's a string now this key value pair we can see this position which is the key is a list and of course the value is a string at runtime what we're going to get is this and it's highlighting this particular line here and this line is the line as it appeared here in the code and if we look at the error it's telling us we have an unhashable type list in other words this is telling us that this and this are unhashable now we introduce what we meant by hashing things at the beginning of the video but here what we need to simply remember is you cannot have in this position within the code in the key value pair in the key position you cannot have a mutable type now a mutable type means it can be changed and we've seen what that means in the previous video so if you're still unclear on that you really do need to look back at previous videos but essentially what we are saying is that in these positions of the key value pairs we cannot have a mutable type they must be immutable there's no problem having in these positions here the values positions a list we can have anything in this position any object any type but in these positions here we can have for example a string and we can have a number type which is an integer or a float but we cannot as shown by this example have a mutable type so to summarize where we effectively came into this video a key has to be an immutable type e.g. a string or a number a key cannot be a mutable type e.g. a list check out the supporting website for these videos in addition why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video